Gems, it's your girl Crystal O, and today we are going to be talking about some kind of Hollywood drama, but for good purpose. So in the past week, um, there was a video that came out from Wendy Williams, and if you know anything about Wendy Williams, you will know that she is mostly a, you know, um, gossip website in a sense, or just a shade talk show, right? Like I feel like everyone that comes, that comes across that show or that is on that show as the topic being discussed is typically someone who is being talked down on, like never fails, I'm pretty sure. So anyways, Miss Wendy Williams chose the wrong one this time around, but apparently she came across, you know, a video of Tabitha Brown, who is a social media influencer as well as an actress and different things, and she commented on Tabitha Brown's decision to retire her husband. So I don't know how old Tabitha Brown is, I don't know how old her husband is, but from their storyline, it does make sense why Tabitha would want to retire her husband. Um, so apparently, let's just go ahead and see. That's kind of the backstory of what happened. Uh, Tabitha retired her husband and announced it, and then Wendy made this video about her. So let's check it out. Uh, but there's this woman. Her name is Tabitha Brown. Oh, you know her? Clap if you know her. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't know her. Well, she's an influencer, and she's saying that she's retiring her husband. He's been a police officer for 15 years, and he wants to live out his dreams. Take a look. I have said to him, babe, it's time. It's time. It's time for him to dream again. It's time for him to um, think like a child and think, Ooh, when I grow up, what do I want to be? And it's something else. It's time for a new journey, a new chance at life, right? And God has blessed us. He has blessed me that I can retire to. Oh, I was married to one of those. You know, I make the money and so on and so forth. Go live your dreams, buy a business, you know, stay with me, but... Go, go, go! You see how that turned out. I predict that this marriage is going to be on real rocky ground in a moment. Live your dream. Then they invest in stuff and they lose the money. And then they invest in something else and the money gets swindled or stolen. And then they invest again. Then he comes home and throws his bag down. And then he's like, and she's like, what? What? And he's like, I can't do this, and this is your fault. You're over here making all your money and stuff. You had me quit my job, and I can't find my live like a child. I, no, but you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, no, uh -huh. no, you work. Uh, being a cop was a big part of his identity. Uh, he liked it, but... Um, she came to him and said that. I clap if you understand what I'm saying. So that's basically what Wendy Williams had to say about Tabitha Brown's decision to retire her husband. Um, and let's go ahead and look at what Miss Auntie Mama Tabitha Brown said um, in response to Wendy Williams. Hello there, y'all all right? Very good, honey. I was up doing a little work here. That's why I got my pajamas on in my office. And then my phone started going off, like praising people. I was like, girl, you're Wendy Williams. Um, first of all, Wendy Williams, honey, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Um, and so people sent me a little clip. And I said, oh, my God, the pain this woman must be in. Wendy, the pain you must be in to feel this way. And I'm so sorry. But listen, let me tell you this. Um, 23 years I've been with my husband. Yes, uh, broke for a very long time together. Struggled for a very long time together. Succeeded for the last couple of years together, right? Uh, my husband took a job in agreement with me. He took a job 15 years ago to help support my dream. And I know you may not know what that looks like. 
in a genuine uh, place, right? Um, but this was an agreement that my husband and I had. And I told him 15 years ago, oh, babe, in five years, I'll be able to take you out of there so then you can pursue one of your dreams that you love. Right now, I was his dog in the fight, okay? And he believed in me. And we did it together for the last 15 years. I did every year with him at LAPD, and he did every year with me with rejection and no's in this entertainment industry, right? However, God has blessed me. He has allowed me to manifest. I've been praying on this for a very long time, and it has now come to pass. That is the power of God. It's also the power of allowing God to be first in your marriage, okay? Um, and that is how it remains successful. So that's basically the conclusion of what Tabitha responded to Wendy Williams. It made me think about how we respond to people who maybe don't wish us well or don't believe the best about our lives or who we're going to be or who we are. I mean, personally, I feel like, you know, Wendy was a little out of line for trying to project her own feelings about her own marriage onto another person, which it does sound like Wendy's hurt. It does sound like Wendy has some things that she really needs to work through. But to say that someone's marriage won't work out because they did what you did doesn't actually like validate you know the reality of it because the marriages are different like you hear Tabitha is saying that you know um that she has been you know working um with him they were together when they were broke they were together in the struggle and basically he was working in a very dangerous job like as an LAPD police and the crime is hot out there so you know if anything she's wanting to make sure that he's protected and he's not just going to in a sense sit on his butt right he has this nonprofit that he wants to give back to and work on and i'm sure that he's still going to be making some income i don't think like i don't know maybe it's just me because i'm like such a hustle 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 like go 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 work kind of person but i feel like he's gonna be itching to like do something that's profitable so I don't know those are some of my thoughts would you have chosen kindness in this situation or would you have chosen the clap back because clearly we see that miss tabitha brown mama tab auntie tabitha chose kindness and that's totally fine i honestly feel like i would have chosen kindness because honestly it takes it takes nothing to clap back. It takes nothing to put Wendy in her place, but that does nothing for Tabitha. That does nothing for Wendy, right? If anything, it confirms and shows Wendy that she pushed a button in Tabitha that made, you know, her rock come out, which isn't really cute all the time, you know? And I believe Tabitha Brown is a Christian, so of course she's kind of, you know, taking that blow and almost prophesying this this love of God and wishing her well and praying she finds this love right even if that love is in Jesus um praying she finds a love that's worth you know sacrificing for that's worth fighting for um in marriage you know it's give and take give and take give and take and um if you're not in a healthy marriage then your view of that is going to be skewed so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on it like I said would you have clapped back? Would you have just given a very like kind response like Wendy Williams? Honestly, my first instinct would have been like, oh, heck no. Like, I know you not. To Girl, don't even try. Don't look. Mind your business. Listen, that's your business. Like Tabitha says, like I would have been a little, you know, ruffled up, riffled up, whatever you call it. But long term you know cool calm collected and you would have been like it's is it worth my energy to give energy to someone who is hurting and broken and wants this attention right so i honestly would have chosen that path i would have just shut you know held back on the knuck if you buck moment and i would have just been like god bless you and i'm so sorry you're so hurt and it's apparent and it shows if you live your life talking about other people's downfall and talking negatively about other people all the time like 
it shows on your exterior that it's taking a toll on you. So those are some of my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this talk, this little chat that we just had here. Let me know if you want more videos like this. I came across this topic and felt like it was worthy of discussing with my audience. So feel free to comment below with your thoughts and subscribe if you are new here. Subscribe if you are not new here. It all goes a long way. Uh, like this video, share, 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 get your friends' opinions, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.